For those who have died in Christ, we have hope, a great deal of hope, that one day, God willing, we will see them again. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Ascension Presents. So recently I was talking with some people who, uh, we had all kind of lost someone, right? We'd all um, had someone's death in our lives. And, and, and some of the people I was, I was talking with, we're all Christians, we're all Catholics. Some of the people I was talking with, they kind of shared that they kind of felt badly for feeling badly, right? They, they were feeling badly guilty for being sad, as, as, if, as if being sad is the wrong response to death. They were saying, yeah, but I mean, I should be happy for them. I know that they're with the Lord. That's a good thing. Like, okay, yeah, that is a good thing. But your emotions aren't right or wrong. There's no such thing as right or wrong emotions. You know, that's the powerful thing about death, right? right? That's the powerful thing about suffering or loss is it reveals something. It reveals our hearts. It, it can reveal um, a depth of strength that maybe you didn't know you had. It can reveal a compassion or a patience, a sensitivity to other people that maybe you didn't realize you had. It can reveal wounds that you didn't realize that you had. Those emotions, those things that are revealed, they're not necessarily good or bad. They're just, they're just, they just are. I mean, it's, it's they're kind of like this. So emotions are kind of like smells in the air, right? Um, they might be pleasant or unpleasant smells, but as long as you're getting enough oxygen, you're going to be fine. Same kind of, similar kind of thing when it comes to um, emotions is that there's no right or wrong emotions. As long as you're, you're breathing, as long as you're moving forward, you're going to be fine. At the same time, you realize that smells might indicate something. They might indicate something about reality, right? So if you smell gasoline, you might, okay, that might be an indication. Okay, don't let it match. If you smell fresh baked bread, it might be, it's almost time for supper. Or if you smell fresh coffee brewing, you might be, okay, it's time to get up. The smells of themselves, in of themselves, are not good or bad, but they can indicate something about reality, just like our emotions. You know, our, our emotions don't tell us the truth about reality. Remember my friend Dean, he once said, but emotions do reveal the truth about our hearts. They tell us something about our hearts. And if you're grieving, that's okay. If you're sad, if your heart is broken, that's not a bad thing. There's no such thing as Christian emotions. They're just human emotions. And Christians grieve. And Christians get their hearts broken. I mean, go back all the way to the Old Testament. You have people like Abraham and Sarah. They were married for over 50 years. And when Sarah died, Abraham wept. You have, you have um, King David. who, When his son, Absalom, died, he went over the city gates and he wept and he cried out, my son, my son, Absalom, my son, would that I had died instead of you. Like that, he let, his heart was broken. You have in the New Testament, we have Jesus, right? In, the, in John's gospel, where his friend Lazarus, the brother of Mary Martha, has died and he's been dead for four days. And Jesus goes to the tomb of Lazarus and the shortest line in scripture is that Jesus wept. That even Jesus wept in the face of death. You know, in face of loss, in the, fa in the face of goodbyes, that can happen. Um, when St. Paul left Ephesus, the Christians in Ephesus, they knew that they wouldn't see him again. And it says they flung their arms around him and they hugged him, they held on to him and they wept openly. To be sad at loss, to be sad at someone's death, to grieve is not wrong. At the same time, as Christians, we, we know this. We know that death does not have the last word. As Christians, we know that death has lost its sting because we know that Jesus Christ has conquered death. By Jesus' death and resurrection, we actually can look at death and have hope because of what Jesus has done for us. We can look at death and we can experience the loss. We can experience the sadness and the heartbreak. We can experience all of it and, that's, and we can grieve. But as scripture says, we don't grieve as those who have no hope because we know that Jesus Christ has entered into death and he has conquered death. Therefore, everyone who dies in Christ lives on and will live again. And we will, God willing, if we get to heaven and they're in heaven, we get to see them again and rejoice again. So in the meantime, yes, it's hard. In the meantime, yes, absolutely, our hearts break. In the meantime, we miss those things, right? We, we, we miss not hearing their voice anymore. We miss the time that we could spend with them. We, we miss them telling us that they love us and we miss the opportunity to tell them that we love them. We pray at the funeral mass for the faithful. Life is changed, not ended. Life is changed, not ended. For all those who die in Christ, life is changed, not ended. And that change is painful, that change is troubling to our hearts. That change, change can break our hearts, but it's not ended. It's not over. And we have hope. 
that in Jesus we will see them again. And so, yes, we, uh, we weep, and yes, we allow our hearts to be broken, and yes, we're sad, and yes, we grieve. But we don't grieve like those who have no hope. We allow ourselves to cry. We allow the tears to flow. We allow that, we allow that pain to be felt because it reveals something. And think about this. <laughs> the pain that you feel at the death of this person that you love that pain is a proof, it's a sign of how deeply you love them. And it's, it's a sign of how, how deeply they loved you. And so as often as you feel that sadness, as often as you feel the sting of that, that loss, don't forget, don't forget the more powerful the heartbreak, the more crushing it feels, in many ways, the bigger the love. And we get to, in the midst of grief, say, thank you, God, thank you for this person that I now miss because there are some people who don't have anyone to miss. <laughs> there are some people who don't mourn because they've never loved. But you mourn because you love. You grieve because you love. Your heart is broken because your heart has loved. And yet death is not the end. For those in Christ, life is changed, not ended. And so we grieve. But we don't grieve like those who have no hope. Anyway, for all of us here at Ascension Presents, my name is Father Mike. God bless. <laughs>